Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So I'm doing the all day wear test on this bad boy. It's the Super Stay Up to 24 Hour Foundation from Maybelline. So far I've had this foundation on for approximately four hours. So this could almost be my four hour check-in at this point. So let's see how this does. I will do an end of a day roundup and in just a second you're going to see me apply it on my very, very splotchy red face. So if you want to see how this foundation holds up past the four hour check-in, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm so, sort of late to the game. Um, I ordered the Super Stay full coverage foundation from Maybelline and then couldn't find it. Well, what happened was I didn't finish clearing out my box from Ulta and I found it right before I threw it away. So there we go. All right, so I'm gonna squirt some on this little sponge. Hopefully, maybe, there we go. This color is in 130 Buff Beige. Almost smells like almonds. Okay, so the color was a darker than my skin, a little on the orangey side, which might be good for summer. All right, we're gonna keep applying at least the concealer and powder. I did use the Scandinavia as a primer. Going to apply some Wonder 2 Selfie Powder. On the rest of the face, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula, and this is in the color beige. We have the Hula Light. Okay, so basically that's how I'm going to set this foundation, and then we will see how it does by end of day. So far, I mean, all the product is sitting nice on top of it. Like I said, the color wasn't exactly mine, a little bit deeper than what I would normally use, but at least it gave me a nice little bit of a bronze look. How about that? Okay, so like I said, we're gonna keep chugging away, and at the end of the day, I will okay, do Okay, so we're at the eight hour mark, and I think I'm gonna tap out at this point. I've had a full day. It's been about it's been about 66 degrees, not a lot of humidity. Actually, just a really beautiful day. I haven't worked really hard um, physically. I've been on the computer all day long, so not a lot of uh, stress and strain on the body. So let's see how we're gonna look at this uh, eight-hour wear test. So you saw it at the four hours. The four hours was starting to get a little shine. I have not touched up today. I have not applied additional powder. I did another video earlier where I pressed one of my Morphe brushes on my face. So I don't know if that technically counts as touching up. I had no product on it. I was just kind of showing the audience what you do with those. So overall, let's see. It, it does look like it may have oxidized a bit. It was already kind of orangish on me anyways, and it does look darker. Now you probably in YouTube land think, oh my gosh, if that's oxidation, holy mackerel. But it is darker than my original skin. It is a little cakey around my nose, but I think overall it did a really good job at covering up all the red. So earlier in the video, you saw how red my, my nose is. So my nose is really chapped for whatever reason on either side and it's just kind of painful. It does look very oily by eight hours and again, it wasn't a really humid day, it wasn't hot and I didn't do a lot as far as physical goes. So that's gonna need to be, uh, the oil's gonna need to be pulled off and maybe by pulling that off and repowdering, it'll keep going. Now, because of the oils, you can see underneath my eyes that the mascara has rubbed off and given me little kind of black dots under there. But overall, I mean, I have to say I'm pretty impressed at the eight hour mark. Again, I didn't touch up, I didn't add additional powder, so whatever was on there this morning was on there. 
I did use the Scandinavia as the primer and I also used it as the setting spray. So overall, I think this is really good. You could just control the oil better than what it's showing as of right now. That seems to be my problem with most foundations is controlling the oil because I'm just a little oily. Anyways, I hope this helps you with your purchase. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned earlier in the video, my skin is combo. It leads more towards the oily side. I'm just having a really weird uh, rough patch right now around my nose. I get this, this happens every so often on me where just around here gets really, really dry for some reason. But other than that, my face is usually kind of a combo oily. I hope this helps you with your purchasing decisions and We'll see you next time. I've got some more foundations to try out for you. Thank you so much for joining my channel today, doing the all day wear test on the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. Well, more like a review. If you have any comments or questions, please add those below as I love interacting with the YouTube community. If you see the bell somewhere around here, please click that and then you'll be informed when my next videos come out. And as my wrap up, as always, I tell you guys, we all have a choice. So let's make it a great one. Until next time, bye.